Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to Hello Mendix. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about an incredibly useful tool that every Mendix developer needs to know about, conditional visibility. Conditional visibility allows you to show and hide different elements on your page based on criteria which you define. Anything which can be hidden normally has three different options for how we hide them. That is by expression, by user role, or by attribute value. The most common use of this is by attribute value. Now, you can use any value of type enum or boolean so long as it is within your context entity. Here I have my context entity registration, which is being supplied by a data source. And I have um, my progress step enumeration on that entity. Simply put, because I have that enum in my registration entity, I can then hide any elements on this page based on the enums value. So this row is only going to show when it's in progress step one, and this one below it will show when it's in progress step two. This technique allows you to reuse the same page as if it's multiple, but in fact, it's only one. Next up, we have hidden by user role. When we hide things based on role, we restrict visibility for those without the required access. This is useful for when multiple user roles share access to the same page, but they should see different things based on their access levels. In this example, I've used it to give a different greeting to the user based on their role, one for the user and one for the admin. Here in the browser, you can see on the left, I'm logged in as the user, but in the incognito window on the right, I'm logged in as the admin and the message is updating accordingly. The third way to hide something is by expression. Now this can be as complex or simple as you want. In this example, I have a simple check that it is equal to zero. And if that is true, then my message will show. I then have another one for if it is greater than zero. And in that case, this one will show. Now, the important thing to remember is that you have access to the context entity in the current object variable. And by accessing this, we can do complex um, expressions based on your own variables. In this example, I've used the expression to change the message to the user depending on if they have any active tasks or not. When I complete each task, it checks an integer value in a microflow and updates it on the page. When the criteria for the expression is satisfied, for example, when it reaches zero, then the front end is updated and the user is presented with the message that they are free to enjoy their day. As a final note, remember that even if an element or widget does not have any visibility properties, you can always place it inside of a container or layout grid instead and apply the rule to that. If you want a practical example of this, you can download the project files for this example from github.com from the link in the description. That's all for now. Until next time, I'm Ryan Mocky and this is Hello Mendix.